Hi friends, so welcome to today's class. So today's question is, a cask contains 25 liters wine. 5 liters are withdrawn and replaced by water. The process is repeated 2 more times. Find the quantity of wine contained in cask now and also the ratio of wine to water in the resulting mixture. So what is the question given here? There is a cask. It consists of 25 liters of wine. The 25 liters of wine is there in the cask. And 5 liters of wine are withdrawn and replaced by water. The process is repeated 2 more times. The total it is done for 3 times. So we have to find the quantity of wine contained in the cask now. So what in the final mixture will be the mixture of wine and water. And what will be the amount of wine contained in this mixture. And also we have to find out the ratio of wine to water in the resulting mixture. For this type of questions we are having the shortcut formula. The quantity of wine left to the initial quantity of wine will be given as x minus y by x the whole raised to n. So what is this x, y and, and n? x will be the initial quantity and y will be the quantity which is withdrawn and n will be the number of times the process is repeated. So all these three parameters are given here. Here x is equal to 25 a cask contains 25 liters wine. So the initial quantity of wine is 25. And y is equal to 5. What is the quantity that is withdrawn? 5 liters are withdrawn and replaced by water. So y is equal to 5. And n is equal to number of times the process is done. The process is repeated 2 more times. It is done once and then it is repeated for 2 more times. The total n is equal to 3. It is done for 3 times. So we are having x equal to 25. Y is equal to 5. And n is equal to 3. So from there we can find out the quantity of wine left to the initial quantity. The ratio can be found out. The quantity of wine left to the initial quantity will be given as 25 minus 5 by 25 the whole cube. So we will be having 25 minus 5 is equal to 20. The so 20 by 25 cancelling out we will be getting 4 by 5. So 4 by 5 the whole cube will be we will be having 64 divided by 125. 4 cube is equal to 64. 5 cube is equal to 125. We are required to find out the ratio of wine to water in the resulting mixture and the quantity of wine contained. So the quantity of wine contained or quantity of wine left will be equal to initial quantity into this ratio 64 by 125. So we know that initial quantity is equal to 25. So quantity of wine left will be given as. So this will be equal to 64 divided by 5 cancelling out 25 and 125. 64 by 5. So it will be equal to 12 4 by 5 liters. The quantity of wine left is equal to initial quantity multiplied by this ratio. Or we can simply write it as a formula as x into x minus y the whole raised to x minus y by x the whole raised to n will be giving the quantity of wine left. Just, it, just multiply initial quantity here. Now second part is we have to find out the ratio of wine to water. The ratio of wine to water will be given as suppose if you are taking the initial quantity as 1. Simply, since we have to find out the ratio, we are just taking initial quantity as 1. So, quantity of wine will be equal to 64 by 125 in the final mixture. Then the quantity of water will be given as 1 minus 64 by 125. 1 is the total capacity or the total quantity. So, water will be equal to 1 minus 64 by 125. We will be able to do this because we are required to find out the ratio. We are not required to find out the exact number. We are required to find out the ratio, so we can very well do like this. So this will be equal to 64 by 125 divided by 125 minus 64 will be 61. So 61 by 125, so it will be equal to 64 by 61. Now let's go to the second question. 6 liters are drawn from a cask full of wine and it is then filled with water. 6 liters of the mixture is drawn and again filled with water. The quantity of wine now left in the cask is to that of the water and it is 121 is to 20. How much does the cask hold? A similar kind of question. So we are having uh, some initial quantity of wine. So we don't know what is the initial quantity of wine. So let it be x. It is not given here. That is a question. We have to find out how much does the cask hold or what is the capacity of the cask or what is the initial quantity of wine. So all these specify the same thing. So let it be x and from this 6 liters are taken out. 6, six liters are taken out and replaced by 6 liters of water. Again it is done for a second time. So n is equal to 2. And y is also given. y is the withdrawn quantity. y is equal to 6. 
we are required to find out x so what is the other information we are getting from the question it is given the ratio of wine left in the mixture so the ratio of wine left in the mixture to the water will be equal to 121 is to 23 our formula is wine left to the initial quantity we can write it as x minus y by x the whole raised to n so we will be able to find out this ratio wine left to initial quantity this ratio can be found found out from the given quantity how we can find out so wine left by initial quantity will be given as so wine left so let it be 121 so if you are taking wine left is 121 means water is 23 so initial quantity will be equal to wine left plus water or the wine in the final mixture plus water in the final mixture will give you the initial quantity so we can write it as 121 plus 23 if 121 parts of wine is left in the final mixture 23 parts of water is left in the final mixture the final uh, amount of mixture can be calculated by adding these two 121 plus 23 here also we are required to find out the ratio so we can do like that no problem so we'll get the ratio as 121 by 144 substituting it here you'll be getting 121 by 144 is equal to x minus y we are having as 6 so x minus 6 by x the whole square and is equal to 2 So from there you will be getting 121 by 144 can be written as 11 by 12 the whole square. 11 square is equal to 121. 12 square is equal to 144. So you will be getting 11 by 2 the whole square is equal to x minus 6 by x the whole square. So just we can take out the square sign from both sides. So 11 by 12 is equal to x minus 6 by x. So we'll be having 11 x is equal to 12 x minus 12 into 6 is equal to 72. So it will be 12 x minus 72. From there we'll be getting x is equal to 72 it is. So x is the capacity of the cask or how much does the cask hold? So our answer is 72 it is. Thank you for watching.